All right, guys, it is Wednesday morning, getting ready to go to class right now, but having myself a quick little meal first, having myself some Nature Valley protein granola right here, and then a protein shake. So one scoop of Cellucor's Core Performance Whey Protein Cinnamon Swirl Flavor, which is my absolute favorite, and then also uh, five grams of creatine monohydrate in there. I could go into creatine timing, but as long as you take five grams a day and take it when your body's gonna absorb it best, which is either uh, in the morning or post-workout in my opinion those are probably the two best times even though creatine timing is basically irrelevant but about to eat this real quick head to class and I'll see you guys in the next clip to make a pick up. Man, it's 2008, I'm trying to paint the picture Come back season in the works and now I'm thinking bigger I got 40 in the studio every night late All right guys so here at the gym getting ready to go inside right now um, having myself my pre-workout a scoop and a half of C4 right here and then three capsules of Cellucor's NO3 product. If you want to try either of these products, I use these every single day when I go to the gym. If you want to try them, head over to www.cellucor.com. My name, Treg, is going to be your discount code at checkout for 25% off and free shipping. So you can get a pretty good deal um, if you want to try these Cellucor products. I also had um, half a pack of Starburst getting those simple carbs in that way they can get into my system a little bit give me some energy since I am in a caloric deficit and my energy my leptin levels are a little bit lower but um, about to head into this workout now hit some legs I've got squats gonna be hitting some heavy doubles and I'll see you guys in the gym So getting my working sets now of 315, hitting these for doubles. And I actually got a question um, in the John Flixer video that he put up for our little collab that we did. Um, somebody asked in the comment section um, if I was wearing leggings. And I take that as a compliment because I was wearing my Gymshark track pants, which means I was filling those babies out. But um, no, I was not wearing leggings in that video. But in this video, yep, I've got my Nike Pro Combat leggings on. The reason for that is I especially like to wear leggings when I'm doing a leg workout because it keeps my muscles warm, it keeps my joints warm, it keeps everything really compact. And when you're doing something like legs, to keep your joints and to keep your muscles warm throughout the entire workout is extremely important because one, it's gonna make you more efficient and more powerful, and two, it's going to help prevent injury in the long run. It's gonna help prevent that wear and tear that might go on if your muscles and your joints start to cool down um, in between sets. But I uh, just wanted to uh, uh, kind of give you guys that insight on why I wear leggings. But uh, to the person that asked if I was wearing leggings in the John Flixer video, thank you. <laughs> So new PR, 335 for a double. I feel extremely good about that, especially because last week I hit 335 for one, and this week I hit it for two. So the weight is going up, even though I'm on a cut right now, I'm just over 147. I weighed in this morning at 148.2. So uh, still um, on this cut, in this caloric deficit, dropping body fat, dropping weight, but the strength is going up. That's just because I am increasing the frequency. And 
when I was doing my squats today, I hit 315 for four sets of two. And something in the back of my mind told me that I had more to give. But without a workout partner, without somebody there um, telling you and motivating you to do more, um, a lot of times working out by yourself, that motivation has to come from within yourself. And if you don't have that motivation inside you, then you're never gonna progress at the rate that you have the potential to. So you need to, when you feel like you have more to give, have no fear, go for it, take that risk. Now don't be stupid, don't put, now if I would've put four plates on, that would've been dumb. But to take a calculated risk like I did by going for 335 for a set of two, when I got under that bar, there was no doubt in my mind that that bar was going back up. I was gonna get that weight for a set of two. And even though I was a little skeptical when I put that weight on, once I got underneath that bar, there was no doubt. So that's what you need to do. When you are pushing yourself, when you're going for a new PR or you're lifting by yourself, that motivation has to come from within you and you have to have no fear. When you get under that bar, 100%, visualize that bar going back up. So um, feel extremely good about that new squat PR. About to hit some accessory movement, some accessory movements, and then abs at the end of this workout, and then probably walk across the street, uh, go see a movie or something, just kind of relax for the night. Don't really have anything else going on, but feel extremely good about that squat PR. I'll see you guys in the next. All right, clip. guys. So leaving the theater, went to go see Run All Night, starring Liam Neeson, and I do have to say that when I went into the movie, I was 100% expecting another uh, rehashing of Taken. I, the trailers totally made me think that it was just gonna be another um, version of Taken. And honestly, a lot of the Liam Neeson movies lately have just taken, <laughs> Taken, um, they've just taken the idea and the success that Taken 1 had and they've just kept going with it. And Liam Neeson has not had a lot of diversity in his repertoire lately so I really did not have high expectations for this movie but I do have to say I was extremely impressed it is raining on me but um I do have to say I was extremely impressed with this movie character development was great I actually cared about characters in a Liam Neeson movie which I cannot say I have done in a very long time and not only was character development good, uh, it actually had a believable plot. And the action was not predictable. The plot was not, you, you didn't see every single plot point coming, like in uh, Taken 2 and Taken 3. Taken 1 was a little bit less predictable, but Taken 2 and Taken 3 were not good at all. And this movie, it was very suspenseful very suspenseful it kept you on your toes on the edge of your seat for a lot of the movie and again you cared about the characters the suspense it it kept you in uh it kept you involved in the movie which that's what i was trying to say but uh it kept you involved throughout the entire movement through, through the i can't speak today through the entire movie yeah so if you guys aren't super interested in seeing the new cinderella movie or the Divergent sequel, Insurgent, then Run All Night is gonna be your best bet. And I do have to say that it's entertaining. Uh, I, I say it was worth the ticket price that I paid to get in, and I'm pretty pleased. I had very low expectations, it exceeded my expectations, so I do have to say that I would recommend going to see this movie, especially because it kind of gives me a glimmer of hope uh, for Liam Neeson because his career was kind of on the uh, downward uh, spiral for a while. But uh, this movie was pretty decent. I do recommend it. But this is going to wrap up this video. Going to go back, edit this up, have it up by Thursday morning for you guys to watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, go give it a thumbs up. It's going to help it show up in that suggestion tab on the side so more people can see it. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, you enjoy uh, my channel, and you've seen some of my other videos, go hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Help my channel grow. And thank you guys so much again for watching. www.trekfisher.com for online personal training. And I'll see you guys in the next video.